I have to ask you about, you wrote this book uh, in 1975, published in 1975, called uh, The or A Social History of Rock. I mean, I'm, I confess to my chagrin, I haven't read it, so I don't really know what it is. Is it a social history of rock? <laughs> and just tell us briefly about that. Ye yes. Um, well, you've been very acute in guessing that it is actually a social history of rock. <laughs> <laughs> so you score points for having looked up the title. Um, <laughs> I mean, it could be. Actually, that would be a great title for some obscure, unreadable novel, wouldn't it? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I'm sure people still buy copies of it, assuming it's a post postmodern novel. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's we could repackage it. It um, rather disturbingly, I found it on the reading list of a couple of university sociology departments. Um, no university you've ever heard of, by the way. But <laughs> um, I wish I could say that I've read it in the last 30 or 40 years, but I haven't, so I can't read really... it. It's great, though. I mean, it's a very important... <laughs> <laughs> do you still have a... Do you have a copy? Yes, I do. I do. Here it is. Oh, yeah. fantastic. That's so great. It's not like... No, that's you the obscure. It's not like <laughs> oh, oh, my mistake. <laughs> it was Tolstoy all along. <laughs> Leo was, Tolstoy's Social History of Rock. It was compared to Tolstoy when it was. <laughs> or maybe it was compared to Toy Story. I can't remember. One or the other. <laughs>